Hi, my name is Noe and I'm from Ireland Memorial School and I'm going to take you through a series of joint mobilisation exercises that will keep the joints healthy, fluid and moving. Also really good for circulation. So for anybody who's at a desk with a tight neck or tight hips, for older people especially, this is really beneficial. So get yourself into a chair. If you're in an office and you've got rolly wheels, do make sure that your brake is on or that you're up against a wall. A kitchen chair is actually the best chair to practice any of these postures on because it has a level, flat seat. Okay, we're going to start with our neck. So we're going to bring the chin towards the chest and then inhale and bring the chin over to the shoulder, up towards the ceiling, to that midpoint, and then exhale and bring it back down the way, all the way back to center. Stop at center for a little pause before you go again. Rolling the head, looking up towards the ceiling, and then back down. One way to think about this is that you're drawing a line with a nib or a pen that's on your chin and it's creating an arc all the way around. So back to centre and now change the direction. So this time inhale to the left and up and over. Using your breath, keep going. So what you have to avoid is totally just swinging your head and going too fast with this so that you're throwing your neck around out of alignment. So stay with your breath. Keep it all smooth, keep it all even. Enjoy it. And then one more time and then come back to centre. And then the next is we're going to inhale. Simply look up towards the ceiling, jut your chin up towards the ceiling. Exhale and bring your chin down to your chest. Keep your shoulders relaxed so they're not moving. It's only the head that's moving. So inhaling and looking up. Lifting your heart, exhaling and bowing your head to your heart. Keep going. Breathing in. And allow the breath to initiate the movement. So it becomes totally aligned. Movement, breath. One more time, look up. One last time. Lift your heart. Exhale, head down. And then bring your head up, eyes at a level. And then inhale and look to the right. Looking over your right shoulder, keeping your shoulders level. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, simply looking over to the left. Exhaling, back to center. Keep your chin at a level. Looking to the right, exhaling. Looking to the left and back to centre. We're going to move to our shoulders now. So we're going to bring the shoulders forward so we know what that feels like and then we're going to draw them all the way back. So your elbows will get involved in the action here. Keep the elbows wide and that will really help that rotation of the shoulders, so draw the shoulders forward, up towards the ceiling, back from down, keep it going. Inhaling as the shoulders come up, exhaling as they go forward, keep it going. Heart is lifted. Twice more. You might hear a few clicks and clacks of the shoulders. And let's do the opposite, which is a little bit less natural. So this time we inhale the shoulders up, exhale them forward and the shoulder blades apart. So just keep that going. All the while the heart is lifted. 
So as the shoulders come forward, we're not totally sloping and bending from the waist. Our waist is staying in position. Again, we're just moving the shoulders. We don't need to involve any other parts of our bodies. And do it once more forward. That's it. Oh, that feels good to loosen up the shoulders. So now let's capitalize on that. We're going to keep the chest lifted, the seat well balanced, interlock the fingers, turn them inside out, and then inhale. Stretch the arms up, lift your heart up. Lengthen up from your waist all the way up through your sticky ribs and up through your armpits, all the way up to these fingertips. Keep your jaw soft and keep your eyes soft. Exhale and release. Change the interlock of your fingers so you naturally put your right little finger on the outside, put your left little finger on the outside, and it may feel a bit odd and that's perfectly normal. Inhale your way back up again. Rooting down through your sit bones and lifting up through the waist, ribs, all the way up through the arms, and exhale and release. And then simply take your wrists and do rotations with the wrists, free them up. Particularly if you work at computers or if you drive a lot, our wrists can be put under a lot of pressure, repetitive movements causing them to hold on in particular ways. So we need to just move them in every way that they can to bring back that freedom. Now just change the direction of your circles. One way will always feel more natural and more comfortable. That's fine. Again, it's normal. You're normal. Okay. Okay, we're going to move down now to the lower body. And we're going to rotate the ankle. And you can do it with the leg just outstretched like this, but that's a lot of holding on the leg. So if it's comfortable for you, interlock your fingers up behind the knee, the lower thigh, and just hold it like that. Keep your heart lifted, keep your side body long, and then visualize a nib of a pen on the end of your big toe and draw perfect circles, or as perfect as they can be with that nib of the pen. Keep breathing. Keep your heart buoyant. And see if you can put your mind into your foot so that you fully concentrate on what you're doing. Change the direction of your circles. So stay with your breath. Keep that connection to what you're doing. So that this becomes more than a physical exercise. It becomes a way of you connecting with your mind, a way of you becoming the person who controls your mind rather than your mind controlling you. Okay, inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, and let the foot drop. And again, have a bit of fun with it. Inhale, enjoy that opening in the back of your leg, the opening in the back of your knee. Exhale, and let your foot, foot flop. And once more, inhale, and exhale. Real simple. And now place that foot down, nice and soft. And we'll go to the other side. So again, we're going to rotate. You're going to visualize the pen on the top of the left big toe and see if you can make your circle as complete as possible. Usually we have a few chunks out of our circles. So work with your chunks. Once more, and then change the direction. That's it. So your ankle is being brought through its full range of motion. That's it. Once more. And then inhale. Exhale. Hmm. Again, inhale and stretch the leg. Exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Hmm. And then place that foot directly under the knee on the floor. Place your fingertips behind 
Lengthen up from the waist up into your armpits. Lift your heart and allow the weight of your sit bones to go right down through your chair. Lengthen up through your side body and breathe. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes for a moment and hold this alignment. This alignment where your shoulders are over your hips, where your lower back arch is fully held, where your shoulders are back and your heart is open. And just watch your breath for a couple of breaths, softening into the position, and then exhale and bow your head towards your heart. 